Hey, so if you clicked on this video, it means that one, you are looking to build a website and two, you're thinking about using Wix. My name is Charlie and in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can build a website from scratch using Wix. We're gonna start completely from scratch with nothing. And by the end of the video, we'll have a fully functioning website. So I'll show you how to use their AI features, how to customize and build your website, adding different pages, installing apps for your website to have more functionality. And yeah, we'll just cover everything. In the description down below, we'll have a link. This is gonna get you a free trial to Wix. Wix. And yeah, overall, I think Wix is a great platform for building a website. It is extremely beginner friendly. It allows you to build a very professional looking website extremely quickly. And as you'll see, it's quite powerful. There are tons and tons of features you can implement within your website. And I'll show you exactly how to do that. So to get to this landing page, you're going to click on that link down below. And this is going to give you access to the free Wix plan. Yes, you can build your website completely for free using this link. And first thing we're going to do is enter in your email address. Once we do that, we'll click start now, and then we'll choose a password. We'll click sign up. Now it's going to ask us, who are we creating a website for? So I'm going to select for myself, my business or a friend, click continue. And here you'll see that there's actually a really cool AI feature with Wix. This was actually introduced quite recently, but essentially you can tell them what you're trying to build and it's going to build that foundation for you. So we'll go ahead and click start chat. First, you're gonna tell the AI what your site is about. I'll say this is a personal blog for me. It's gonna ask us what the name of the blog is. And note, you guys, you can skip the question anytime you want. And you can also end the chat and just continue with selecting a template if you want to do it that way. But I'll just run you through this AI chat feature. I'm gonna name the blog just my name. For me, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna share tutorial content to build a website. Yours is going to look a little bit different, but you can basically tell the AI what type of functionality you want on your website, which is really cool. So I'm just going to say I want a blog, about me page, and FAQ. As you can see, it's updating the site information on the right here. And once you're all set, you're going to click on go to dashboard. And it's basically just going to prepare our website for us. All right, so this is our dashboard. This is essentially where we're going to build our site, add different apps, build our pages, essentially everything. And it's selected personal blog for us based on the answers I gave. But if you want to edit this, you can always click on this and select what type of website you're making. So I'm just going to select save. Here you're gonna see some of the steps you wanna to take to set up our blog. So of course, I do recommend getting a custom domain. It's gonna make your website a lot more professional looking. To get a custom domain, you will need to upgrade to one of the Wix premium plans. Wix is not the cheapest website builder out there. There are cheaper alternatives, and I'll actually list some of those down below, but it's really not that expensive, and the functionality that Wix has is quite amazing. So you really can't go wrong with using Wix. I'm not gonna show you how to do a domain for this video. It's very easy, you can buy your domain directly through Wix here, or you can actually buy your domain on any other domain registrar. Over here on the left, we're going to have different features that we can work on. This is where we can find different apps to install on our website. This is going to add a lot more functionality, but I'll show you how to do that later on in this video. If you're doing a blog, this is where you're going to access that blog and create new posts. I also have a portfolio here as well, but right now what we're going to do is come here to design site. And now what we're going to do is customize a template or generate a design using AI. You're free to choose either one of them, but for this video, I'm going to choose customize a template. I really want to show you guys the professional templates that Wix has made for us. They look really good. And so if you click on pick a template, it's going to bring us to this page where we can search through the hundreds of different templates. And if you don't want to use any of these, you can always select blank template, or you can generate a design using the AI feature. Now it does know what type of website we want to build since I did go through that AI chat feature. So it's going to suggest different personal blog templates. But if you come here, you can see we can build a business website. They have tons and tons of different templates. So no matter what type of business you are trying to create, they're going to have professionally designed templates for that. For example, if you are doing a consulting or coaching business, we can click on this and it's going to show us some of the popular templates that match that. I'll go ahead and go back. And yeah, I just encourage you guys to look around. If you're building an e-commerce store, they have tons of templates for that. If you are in the creative niches, there are tons of templates for that too. But just for this video, I'm going to go ahead and select this one. We can click on view to get a preview of what this looks like. I think it looks pretty solid as is. So we'll click on edit this site. And this is going to bring up the Wix website editor, which is one of the huge, huge advantages of using Wix. This is essentially what you are paying for. You do not need to know how to code. There are 
drag and drop editor is extremely easy to use and adding different sections, building different pages, editing the site design, it's all done within here. So as you can see on the left, we can add different elements. These are going to be things like buttons, text, whatever it is. We can add different sections. So this is a section. This is a section. We can add different pages. We can add to our menu up here. We can change the overall site design. We can add apps for functionality and we can also upload different media. First, I'm going to click here to zoom in a little bit. So here we have the header and down here we have the footer. Basically with Wix, anything that you want to edit, you just need to click on it. So if I want to click on this, I can change the text here. I can use AI to create text. I can even remove this and put a logo instead. Here is one of our sections. So this is going to be the main header hero section. And as you can see, if I click on this, we can easily change the layout. So right now it's a three column layout. We can do something like this if we want. We can do this and we can even customize this completely. But for now, I'm just gonna make it back to the original. And guys, I know you're gonna want to customize your website completely, but the more you customize it, the more things can actually break with the design. Again, these are all professionally made already. So there's a lot of thought behind the current design. So I'll just say like, if you don't need to change it, don't change it. For any of these pictures, you can easily change it. You just need to click on it click on change background. We can select from different backgrounds. We can also upload images if we want. So I'll click on that. There's a ton of stock footage. We can also purchase from Shutterstock or we can upload our own media. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm going to drag this picture. It's going to upload right here and we can go ahead and select it and click change background. If you wanna change the text here, all you need to do is double click on the text. We can change the font size. We can change the actual font itself. We can change the spacing as well. And essentially everything you want to change can be done. As you can see in this section, we have our blog feed. And if you don't want a section to be there, all you need to do is come here to these three dots and click on delete. That's going to delete that section. And if you want to actually reverse that, we'll do Apple or command Z and that's going to undo that action. There's also tons of social functionality too. So for example, this section here, we have our Instagram feed. What you're going to do is click on settings. You can connect your account to Wix. This is going to display your feed, which is pretty cool. There are tons of different display settings we can have and we can change the layout to or design. If I want to add a section, I can easily do that. All I need to do is come here to add section. There are tons of pre-built sections within Wix. So I can essentially just go through through these and see what I want to put on our homepage. For example, if I want to have an about section, I can click on this and we can go ahead and put something like this right here just by dragging it in. Over here on the right, we can easily move the section up or down as we please. We can do a quick edit too by clicking on this button. Here you can see you can change the section background. We can change the title here, change this text here as well as this. This is just a different way to edit this. But of course, you can always just exit out of the quick edit and directly edit by clicking on the text here. If you want to add an element to our website, you can click on this. You can browse through the hundreds of different elements that you can add. For example, if we want to add a button, we can click on this and we can do something like this drag it here. We can change the sizing and you can also click on design, choose from the different colors, different text icons. We can even customize it fully. And that's essentially how you add an element. Now, if you want to add a new page, what we'll do is come here to pages and menu. Currently we have a home page, which is what we're seeing right here. We have a blog page, an about page, contact page, portfolio. And yeah, anytime you want to add a new page to our website, what we're going to do is click on add page. It's going to have us select what this page is. So let's say you have a pricing plan for your website, we can click on this. This will create our own pricing plan page. If you want to take bookings on your website, we can go here and we'll add Wix bookings. This is an added app that adds functionality so people can actually book appointments through your website. So cool, that's added now. So if you come back here to pages, we now have a book online section and I can actually add that over here so that it's more easily viewable. Up here, we can select what page we're actually editing. So as you can see, this is the book online page. This is what it looks like. If we want to go back to our home page, what we're going to do is click on this, go back to home. And here's where we can edit our home page again. I do want to show you this thing right here. So this is the site design. Now I do not recommend actually playing with this too much because like I said, these are already professionally designed. All the colors are handpicked to match. So if you're choosing your own colors, that can be cool, but it could look a bit weird. So just be cautious about that. Essentially, we can change the color theme in this section. We can change the text. So all the 
fonts. We can change the page background and we can also change the page transitions. If I want to add different apps, what we're going to do is click on this button right here. And this is going to allow us to access the Wix app market, which is a really cool part about Wix. So essentially anything you want to do on your website, you will be able to add it to your website using Wix apps. There are different categories right here. So let's say you want marketing. We'll click on this and see what different apps they have. Here are a bunch of apps for doing different ads. Here are a bunch of different analytics tools. Here are different social apps we can install. So for example, if you want to have a TikTok feed on your website, we can absolutely do that. I encourage you just to look through all these different apps. It's going to help you brainstorm. You might see something where you didn't think about initially and you're like, okay, this could be something really cool to add to my website. This definitely is a huge plus to using Wix and most of them are going to be free. Of course, there are some apps that do cost money. So for example, this one, but I also like that you can see the ratings and that really helps you, you know, decide what app you want to install on your website. If you have a business, then this tab right here is going to take you to the my business stuff. Here you can manage your bookings, your blog, your forms and payments, your members area, your portfolio, and all the business stuff. We can add a new service if we want. We can add bookings elements. We can manage our current services. Everything you can think of regarding your business services is going to be in this section. And of course, right here is going to be our media section. So all your site files are going to live here. We can upload media directly from our computer. We can upload from Facebook, Instagram, Google Drive, and so on. There even is a photo studio to help you edit and enhance your images, or you can use their video maker to create your own videos. Now, if you come here and click on my blog, this is going to take us to our main blog feed. I really like how this looks right now. We can add different sections to this blog page, but if you want to actually manage your posts for your blog, what you're going to do is click on manage posts. This is going to bring you to this blog section, which you can find on your main dashboard. And essentially creating new posts is very easy. You're going to click on create new posts on the top, right? You'll be able to use their AI tools to help you actually create content. This can save you a ton of time. You can do this, or you can also use something like chat GPT. Over here, you're going to have your title. You're going to have the actual blog post. You can change the different settings for your blog posts. So for example, the featured image, which is very important to have the published dates, who the writer is. You can also work on your SEO directly within Wix. So there is a built in SEO assistant, which actually performs quite well. You can also monetize by actually creating a paywall to your posts. And if you want to translate to different languages, that is also another feature. And then over here, we can look at our drafts. You can see things pending review. You can actually schedule blog posts to go out and you can also delete posts as well that go to the trash. So once you're done making your website, what you're going to do is click on publish. But before you do that, one thing that's very important is to make sure your website looks good on mobile. A big portion of your traffic is likely going to come from people on their phones. So we definitely want to make sure that our website is mobile optimized. Now, if you're using a theme that's built into Wix and you're not making that many changes to the design, then it's very likely that the mobile view will look quite good right off the bat. And the really cool thing is that whatever changes you make here to the design, it's not going to affect how it looks on desktop. So this is our blog page right here. I think it looks pretty good. We can go to our home page. For example, if we want this text to be smaller, we can go ahead and reduce the font size. If we don't want this button right here, we can click on this. We'll right click. We can hide on mobile if we want. And yeah, just go through your website. Make sure it looks good on mobile. This mobile viewer is very easy to use. And then once your website looks great, both on mobile as well as desktop, then you can actually connect your domain and then click publish. So we'll click on publish right now. We can view our site. As you can see, I definitely needed to do some changes here to the menu. But yeah, that's essentially how you build a website with Wix. I do encourage you guys to upgrade your plan to one of the paid plans because one of the biggest things when it comes to your website is having a custom domain. You don't want to have something like Charlie Chang Media 4.wixsite.com. It doesn't look professional. And the only way to remove that is to actually upgrade. And along with that, you do get a ton of other features. If we go ahead and click on this button right here, it might look a little bit differently depending on when you're watching this video. You can choose between the different plans. For most of you watching this video, the light core or business plan is going to be perfect. You can see they have different features. For example, the number of collaborators you can have, the storage space, the marketing suite. But all these do come with a free domain for one year, which is pretty cool. If you want to have e-commerce functionality, you're going to want at least the core or business plan. And yeah, the whole checkout process is quite easy. And I'm not going to cover that. But if you're watching this video and you actually build your website using Wix, I do recommend upgrading at some point. Overall, I'm a huge fan of Wix. I've used Wix for my own personal websites. It really is a strong platform with a lot of functionality. They make it very easy for beginners to have a professional looking website within minutes. And I'm a 
huge fan of their AI tools, as well as the new functionality that they've added over the past one or two years. Seriously, Wix has gotten so good. That's why I have no problem recommending them. But of course, there are tons and tons of other website builders out there too. Some of them are quite a bit more affordable. So if you do want to save some money, there are definitely some other options as well. But really, you cannot go wrong with Wix. So there you have it, a full on Wix tutorial where I showed you how to build a website from scratch. I know we covered a lot of different things in this tutorial, but if you want to reference anything we talked about, I'll have the full timeline in the description down below. So you can very easily just reference anything whenever you need. And yeah, hopefully you were able to follow along with this video and build your website. Websites are so important. I truly believe that everyone should build a ton of websites. It'll help you get a better job. It's going to help you make more money. And yeah, just having a web presence these days is so important. Again, we'll have that link down below to Wix to get that free trial. And yeah, hopefully you got a ton of value. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. On this channel, I do a ton of videos about entrepreneurship, tutorials, as well as finance. So all things to help you live a financially successful life. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.